Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Three cut candidates on 49ers roster ahead of NFL training camp. When a team has a talented offense like the San Francisco 49ers, okay, maybe no team does right now, making the roster on that side of the ball takes a lot of ability. So it could come as no surprise that among the three cut candidates heading into NFL training camp is a very familiar name. Running back Elijah Mitchell may be on the cut bubble. And Mitchell is joined on the potential chopping block by wide receiver Danny Gray and tight end Cameron Latu. Short answer, yes. And it starts with the fact he's not dependable to get on the field. In three seasons, the 5'10", 200-pounder has played a total of 27 games. The good side of things for Mitchell has been his production. He burst onto the scene as a rookie in 2021, totaling 1,100 scrimmage yards and six total touchdowns. However, injuries limited him to five games in 2022. Another reason the 49ers may consider moving on from Mitchell is the loaded backfield. Of course it starts with Christian McCaffrey, who has no peers. And then there's rookie fourth-round pick Isaac Garendo out of Louisville. He has already turned some heads, and they should be turned. The six-foot, 221-pound Garendo ran a 4.33 in the 40 at the NFL Scouting Combine. Yes, big and super fast. Throwing in Jordan Mason and Patrick Taylor Jr. creates a crowd. And then there's Cody Schrader. He's not very big at 5'8", but he's tough as nails. All of these things will make training camp tough for Mitchell. That's especially true if all of the injuries have cost him some burst. He's already a high runner, which opens the door for more injury potential. When the dust clears, Mitchell may stick. But the trending direction says he's at least in trouble. Danny came into the NFL with fanfare. The 49ers grabbed him in the third round of the 2022 draft, pick number 105 overall. The six-foot, 200-pounder had that look. Good size. Wheels. But it didn't carry over to the playing surface. And Gray's stat line reads like the proverbial Major League Baseball cup of coffee. He has one catch on seven targets for a measly 10 yards. Maybe that line would be more understandable if Gray played in the slot. But for a guy whose draft resume suggested he could take the top off of NFL defenses, one catch should have been for 20, 30, or even 40 yards. So there's the disappointment, but here's the reality. In the first round of the 2024 draft, the 49ers grabbed Ricky Pearsall out of Florida. Pearsall isn't an elite speed guy, but he immediately bumped Gray down a notch on the depth chart. Then in the fourth round, the 49ers selected another wideout, Jacob Cowing, of Arizona. And Gray became a third-team dude in the span of a couple of days. It's likely he won't make it through training camp. Latu injured his knee in the 2023 preseason and spent the year on injured reserve. But it happened after a bad training camp where he often looked mismatched against NFL-level players. But the 6'5", 244-pounder could have carved a spot when the 49ers didn't draft a tight end. However, San Francisco added free agent Logan Thomas to the tight end room. That's an automatic downgrade for Latu's playing time chances. He's already on a team with NFL star George Kittle, so Latu may need a remarkable training camp to have a chance at making the roster. Kirk Cousins improves Falcons' QB room, rest of offense is. The Atlanta Falcons have drafted offensive players four at the skill positions, including quarterback in the top ten of each of the past four NFL drafts. Thus far, the strategy has not yielded positive results. Morris, who will bring most of his staff from the Rams, is not the only major change. The Falcons signed quarterback Kirk Cousins to a free agent contract in March that will pay him around $100 million in guaranteed money. Cousins will be the linchpin under center for a team that has had quarterback struggles for the past several years. 
he represents the hope that he is the missing piece those first-round skill players need to reach their potential. He'll try to lead Atlanta to its first winning record since 2017. Here's a look at the makeup of the roster after minicamp, and whether each position group is the same, better, or worse. No other quarterback room improved this much. Why? Because not only did the Falcons sign Cousins, a proven, productive veteran, they also drafted a top college quarterback in Penix with the number 8 overall pick. Atlanta's present and future at the position should be strong, and that's not something the team could have said since Matt Ryan manned the position before being traded in 2022. Only two quarterbacks have thrown more touchdowns since 2020 than Cousins, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. Plus, Cousins' four-year, $180 million contract is looking better, considering some of the recent activity in the QB market. Suddenly, general manager Terry Fontenot doesn't look so misguided locking up the most important position in the sport for a long time. Brandon Ayuk issues two-word statement on future. San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk has walked through a murky offseason of contract negotiations thus far, but he indicated he has clarity on where he wants to play in 2024. Ayak said in a video published by TMZ Sports that he for sure wants stay with the 49ers this year. The video shows Ayak engaging with a man recording their exchange as they exit a terminal at Los Angeles International Airport on June 29, according to TMZ. It has been anything but certain for the offseason as Ayak has called for a bigger contract since the Super Bowl ended in February. His frequent social media posts and occasional interviews have dwarfed much of the other events of the Niners offseason. Ayak came off a stellar season in which he led the team with 75 receptions for 1,342 yards and seven touchdowns. He has $14.12 million fifth-year extension with the team for 2024, but Ayak could make up to $26.5 million annually based on Spotrac's projection. That tension has led to Ayak trade rumors galore, and he has even acknowledged some of them. He has teased a couple potential destinations even amid recent comments that it's probably the Niners for 2024. If I were to take a guess, probably a Niner uniform, Ayak said during the Pivot podcast on June 28. Probably a Niner uniform. If not a Niners uniform, probably a Washington Commanders uniform. If not a Washington Commanders uniform, probably a Pittsburgh Steelers uniform. Pittsburgh has remained one of the frontrunners amid persistent trade speculation. Ayak also had fun with the Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin resemblance on social media. As for the Commanders, Ayak played at Arizona State with Washington rookie quarterback Jaden Daniels in 2019. The two reconnected this offseason, which Ayak shared on social media, including comments the 49ers don't want me back on June 16. They told me that they didn't think we were on the same page and they didn't believe they were going to, and that was about it at that time, Ayak explained on the Pivot podcast. But it's part of the contract negotiations. Numbers going public can happen in the process. Mike Silver of the San Francisco Chronicle reported on June 6 an extension offer that would pay $26 million annually. It's a little bit frustrating, especially when we're getting down to details like that, Ayak told the Pivot podcast. Like we're putting down exact numbers in negotiations where that's talks between the team and my team. We're trying to work through things, work through a lot of things. So for actual numbers and actual stuff like that to come out, I think that it's a little bit, I felt it was a little bit disrespectful, a little bit unfair to me, but that's part of it. That's part of it, Ayak added. It is what it is, Ayak continued. It's a dirty game. It's a dirty game, so I just feel like for me, social media is a way for me and my team to leverage myself and to leverage what I'm trying to get because that's the way to get the message out there. That's the way to get the facts out there. And the facts are the facts. So if I'm putting facts out there. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Ayuk? Leave your opinion in the comments.